Well, we are here in the Cooler Buck Factory looking over all of the blood red game bags that we're packing up. And this is just a super uh, excited about this product right here. You know, whoever decided to make a reusable, rewashable game bag white should have been slapped because they never stay white. It is absolutely ridiculous. And I don't want to think that, you know, want you to believe that I founded this uh, concept many, many years ago uh, when I worked in the commercial meat packing industry. A gentleman came in and he actually told me, laughed. He said, Brad, he goes, I know you're going to laugh about this. And he was a, a butcher supply dealer that sells supplies to uh, meat packing companies. And he said, but it's kind of a ridiculous thing. He said, but I know you have a retail store and I know you have a processing plant, but how about these blood red colored aprons? Because every time we'd go up in front of customers, you know, you got this old bloody apron on, it's all stained up and nasty looking and mom gets all offended by it. But when you wear these blood red aprons, you don't see the stains. So that's actually, he said, I don't want you to think I'm some genius or something. It's just one of those keep it simple, stupid ideas that, you know, why not make that bag blood red so it's not gonna be that old brown and washed out uh, color. So this is a giant bag inside this little package. So take a look at this package, we'll get you in here. So basically whenever you get it, you know, it's gonna either have a large uh, sticker right here, it's gonna have a small. So the small ones are for your deer quarters, antelope quarters, things like that, boneless quarters. Uh, so you can do, uh, put boneless meat in it and everything. And the small bags are 18 inches wide, 30 inches long. Uh, the elk bags are actually 22 inches wide and 42 inches long. So it'll be stamped right on the front of it here telling you all about it. So, and a vacuum sealed, so that's what's really nice about this it doesn't take up much space in your pack so you can put this right in your pack real nice so I'm gonna go ahead and rip one open it's actually got a tear notch here in the top so I'm gonna rip it open and we're gonna show you just how big this bag actually is that's inside that little tiny pouch so when you fold that baby out I mean that's a really big bag so I'm gonna come around this side of the table so you can kind of get a better look at it but like I said I mean it's not a genius idea but it is kind of a smart idea to make it a blood red color so that it's not going to show the stains another one of the good features that we did about the bags we actually sewed a meat flap into the top of the bag it's because I don't care you know how tight you pull this drawstring shut Flies always seem to get in there and get on your meat anyway. So this way you can, you know, fill it up. You can tuck that in there. Another really great feature about this bag is this right here. So come in there and get a look at that. This is actually a gusseted side. Now the long, the big bags, the elk bags have a six inch gusseted side. The smaller bags actually have a four inch gusseted side. So what that does is it gives you a nice fat wide bottom, right? So the issue with a pillowcase style bag that's sewed together tight like this is the more meat you put in it, what happens? The shorter it gets, the wider it gets, the shorter it gets, right? So with this, it's already six inches wide. So that gives you a nice wide bottom that's also seamless. So you don't have a stitching sewed across the bottom of it like you do with some of the pillowcase bags. So it makes a totally seamless bottom. It's curved down around like this so the weight doesn't set on the corners. So that's another really important feature about the bag. So, and last but certainly not least, how do you attach these things to your pack frame or to your backpack? You know, so rather than taking a hundred foot of paracord and you're wrapping it all around your pack frame, this actually has nylon straps. The large one has an inch and a half wide strap. The smaller one has a one inch strap. And you can just put that on your pack frame, yank that baby down tight and then fasten it right onto your pack frame. So when it also, even just for picking it up and moving it around, you know, it's so hard, you know, you get 50 pounds of meat in there and you're trying to bear hug it to pick it up off the ground. So with that strap, it makes it really nice and easy uh, to move it around so this if you want to add a little bit of extra protection you can get the cooler buck antimicrobial spray spray that right around the outside of the carcass you can spray it on the outside of the bag and then when you wash this you don't need to use bleach you can just actually use just some good hot soapy water throw it in the washing machine and uh, wash it off and uh, you can reuse that bag over and over and over again it's a heavy-duty breathable fabric so it's just a really nice product there. And you can check that out uh, on the website at coolabuck.com.